All right, we're going to do this problem here, number 16 from the review. It says write an equation of the sine function with amplitude 15, period 4 pi, phase shift pi over 2, and vertical shift of negative 10. Your answer must be in this form, y equals a sine parentheses k theta plus c close parentheses plus h. The four things we need in order to write the equation are a, k, c, and h. A refers to the amplitude. K is not the period. However, we use the period in order to find K. C is not the phase shift. However, we use the phase shift in order to get C. And H is simply the vertical shift. Now, what we'd like to do is get the two easy um, variables out of the way first. So A is pretty simple to find. Remember, we said that refers to the amplitude. Recall that in order to find the amplitude, it's the absolute value of um, the number that comes before the function. So it tells us our amplitude is 15. That can come from an absolute value of negative 15 or an absolute value of positive 15. So for our amplitude, we are going to write down plus or minus 15. Now, uh, the next thing we'll get is the vertical shift, because that's pretty easy also. The vertical shift is just h, and that number is negative 10. So uh, those two values, you don't really have to do any work in order to find them. Now, recall that the formula for the period is 2 pi over k. We are told here that the period is 4 pi. All right, and once again, the period, uh, this 4 pi is not k. What we'll have to do is set these two equations equal to each other. So let's do that here. 2 pi over k equals 4 pi. We're going to write this 4 pi as a fraction, so we'll put it over 1. And we cross multiply, so what we'll get is 2 pi equals k times 4 pi. And we'd like to get k by itself. So in order to do that, let's divide both sides by 4 pi. And the pi's will cancel each other out. This 4 pi will cancel out that 4 pi. k will be 2 over 4, so k will reduce to 1 half. Normally for k, you'll just get um, a number, a fraction, and it will not include a pi with it. Now, the phase shift, the formula for that is negative c over k. We are told that the phase shift is pi over 2. Once again, we are going to set these two values equal to each other. However, we just found the value of k to be 1 half. So we are going to take that and plug it in here when we set these two equations equal to each other. So let's write negative c over 1 half equals pi over 2. All right, so uh, once again, we are going to cross multiply uh, this way. It's pretty simple. Negative C times 2 is negative 2C. All right, and this way is not too difficult either. 1 half times pi is simply pi over 2. Now, to get C by itself, we divide both sides by negative 2. If you divide... 1 half pi by negative 2, the 2s are not going to cancel each other out. What you're going to be left with is negative pi over 4. So that is the value for C. Now we have all the values we need in order to write our equation. So let's write y equals plus or minus 15 sine parentheses K. So you can write this two ways. You can write one half theta, or we could simply put theta over two. Either of those two answers will be acceptable. 
C comes after that. We found that's negative pi over 4. We close the parentheses and put the vertical shift outside that. Minus 10, and we're done.